Welcome to the primary suite. The thing that we had to kind of work through in here is the door into the space is on one side of the room. And in order to get the bed centered on the vault and the chandelier, we had to do some space planning. And that meant that the sides on either side of the bed were a little bit uneven. We had room for a nightstand on one side and a desk on the other. The chair makes it so that it fills this wide space really well. We were able to do a table lamp with a shade. We just leaned into the asymmetry. Instead of trying to do matching nightstands and then we had a gap over here. To me, the trick to doing asymmetrical side tables is all about the height of the lamps. So our lamps here end at the same height because we added some books to the bottom of this one. And this gives it some nice balance without everything being perfectly matching. The canopy bed is really the focal point of this room. We have a nice height to the ceiling and it was a perfect fit for this space. One great thing about being one of our clients is that we can customize the McGee & Co pieces in interesting ways and so, we did our emery canopy bed and we did this striped fabric on the headboard and that tied in the colors of the bedding we have. These light blues and grays and we've done a lot of linen bedding and textural details like the tassels on the end here. We have this velvet bolster and one of my favorite pieces is this vintage block print pillow because we're tying in the blue but we're adding this bold kind of red and orange color to the space and I think it just added that punch uh, that we needed against some of these softer tones. When you walk in to the bedroom, there is this really large blank wall behind me and we wanted to add a statement. And so we did this Mickey & Co piece. The scale in this piece is incredible. And then over in the corner, this is the corner that you see when you first walk into the room. And so we were able to fit a really great lounge chair. This is the Lucille from McGee & Co. We have this nice roll arm and the really pretty brass casters. And this is a great example of juxtaposition. So we have a traditional shape on the chair and then we do a modern task lamp with it. It works really nicely and it's just all about that push and pull when pairing pieces. Up next, we have the primary bathroom. A really beautiful, calming space. We started with these smooth limestone floors and it was all about mixing creams and warm whites and then some greens in the rug. And you can see this vintage rug just ties all of those tones together really, really nicely. The vanity design is gorgeous and it has a lot of really interesting details. So the top drawer has a reeded front, but we didn't just stop there. We carried that reeded detailing into the coining on the edge of the hardware. Even the countertop has a really cool profile. So we have this thick profile on this Calcutta marble and then it has a thicker edge across just the sink. Instead of doing a flat front, we have this little bump out, which is a more traditional detail, but we're mixing traditional and modern here. We did a raised paneling detail, and because we didn't have tons of wall space to show off that detail, we decided to just do it on every single surface. We integrated the mirrors into the paneling, and I think that this just gives this dressed up feel. We incorporated mixed metals in here. We did an antique brass on the sconces and on the hardware, and then mixed that with a polished nickel. That mix of metals, when we do that, I like to have one piece that ties the two together, if possible. And here we have this antique mirrored lantern above the tub. And I think it just blends the two really beautifully. And this tub is so stunning with the antique silver finish and this really gorgeous tub filler. A lot of bathrooms, you know, you're just trying to fit everything that you can into the space just to make it functional. Here we had a little bit of extra space and so I think it was nice to, instead of doing a built-in, to do a freestanding shelving piece that we could style and it just adds a little bit of interest to the space. True to form, I love to mix 
mix mix. So we have this textural brass shelving with glass that's a little bit more glam. And then the accent table next to the tub is a more rustic wood. They work together in the same space really nicely, but it's not an obvious choice together. In the shower, we have this really great marble tile that has a warm veining that ties in the tones of the space. And we did a basket weave on the floor. I don't think you have to do a matching tile to the main floor. I think it just needs to make sense with the tones of the bathroom. And again, I think it is a nice break in the flooring and, and just keeping it interesting. This space is probably the most unique space in the home. And our clients actually started designing this room before any other part of the home. They knew they wanted this wine room. The vision was you're just enveloped in these bookcases with this ladder and no white, really. The Just maybe a hint or two like on a shade, but we wanted it to feel dark and moody and like an old lounge. And we worked really closely with the architects to get every detail just right. We stained the ceiling it's a coffer detail and it's stained this dark brown. And then we have this inky blue on the walls and the built-ins. And I love that they carry up and over the windows, even the drapes pocket in behind this built-in. We have steel doors leading into the space, a black marble fireplace. We have a dark stained double stripe detail that runs around the border of the room and it just elevates the entire space. A vintage rug that sets the tone for the whole room and we have this great emerald green tufted velvet sofa and then these leather club chairs that have this low slung kind of relaxed feel to them and then we did a glass coffee table, and I love that you can see through to the vintage rug. And the collected feel in here is just one of a kind. We have put together our clients' collections that they've had over the years and things that have a lot of meaning to them, artwork and books. And one thing that we wanted to be really conscious of is instead of doing like a contrasting drape, we did a tone on tone. So we matched this fabric to the wall color. So you're just, you get that sense of mood. And I think that that's what really creates that feeling is not having a high contrast look. We have this gorgeous rolling ladder. The stain matches the border on the floor, which ties in with the ceiling. And we have this built-in that goes across these really cool sliding steel doors. We did an antique mirror glass on the backsplash. And then this really cool star hardware. Then there's a little wet bar over here. And even this faucet is unique in that you can see it has a wood handle. Of course, the wine room needs a beautiful place to store the wine. You walk in, everything is chilled to the perfect temperature. It smells like oak. All of the storage is oak and you can just, I mean, it's incredible. So you can walk in and we did a plaster on the ceiling. There's a barrel vault in here and the tone of that ceiling ties in with the built-ins of the room. Each little detail throughout the room is so unique. I just love the way it feels. So this concludes our tour of the primary suite and the wine room. We have more webisodes that we've already launched that you can dive into, photos on the blog, and there's so many rooms in this home. Just dive in and enjoy.